Well, good Monday morning. We're going through the Advent season, and if I'll just uh, take a moment to remind you of what the Advent candles represent, if you're observing that. Uh, hope is the first one. We looked at that last week. Love this week, and then we go to joy and peace, and finally the Christ candle. So this week, we're going to be looking at uh, verses in 1 John that speak to love, God's love and our love, and uh, I think this will be very important for us. And I want to read in 1 John chapter 4, uh, verses uh, 8, and then uh, also in, down in verse uh, 19. It says, The one who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And then we read in verse 19, We loved, we love because he first loved us. The love of God is something that's imposing and powerful at the same time. It's mysterious because we don't know why God would uh, love us enough to keep us uh, on this earth, as rebellious and sinful as we are, uh, it's hard to know the depths of God's love that he sent his son to die for us when certainly he didn't have to. And we try to reveal the love of God uh, by loving others and the love of God to be revealed in us. But uh, John makes a very important thing that love is, of, is God's nature. It's not just what he does. It emanates and originates out of his nature. It's the nature of God to love. Now, love uh, brings with it uh, truth. It brings with it compassion. It also brings with it judgment. Truth brings judgment, doesn't it? Accountability and reality. And so when God loves us, we say that. It's not just some sentiment that he loves us but never does anything about it. He loves us and does what's right. He tells us the truth about our lives. He sent Jesus Christ to do that. He brings judgment and accountability to our lives because of his own moral nature. And then he extends that love through his grace to save us. I think there are two things that come out of this for me. First of all, uh, I want to remember always that God loved us before we were ever believers. I think sometimes we think, we think and we sort of uh, portray this idea that if, if you're not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, then God doesn't love us. But the Bible says in the words of John in John 3.16 that he loved the whole world. Well, if he loved us while we were sinners... Uh, and the Bible says he commends his love to us, recommends it or extends it while we were yet sinners. Jesus dies for us. He commends his love. He loves us while we're sinners. Well, think about how much he loves us when we become believers, when we become his own children. You know, I can say I have love for other children, but I have deep love for my own children. And so it is with God. And then the extension of that love in our lives is God's love through our lives as we love one another. So as we begin this week, let's think about God's nature of love and how he's extended that love to us in Jesus Christ and through us in order to love others. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, which is so powerful and wonderful. And we thank you that you loved us, Father, even when we were sinners. And now that we're in Christ, how much more you can shower that love upon us and love through us to love this world that we live in. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.